This is the Preciso 102-1 adding machine. It's in pretty good condition. I found it in a, an antique store or second-hand shop. It is missing two uh, button tops and also the rod that should hold the uh, roll of paper. But other than that, it's in pretty good condition. This machine was made in the early 1950s and uh, yeah, it's fairly easy to use but it has a, a few oddities that I'll show you. So you can enter a number and the indicator here uh, shows you uh, how many digits you've entered. Um, and to add the number you've entered, just pull the lever and it gets printed onto the paper here. Uh, you'd then want to uh, print the subtotal or total. Uh, that's, our, that's these buttons, the subtotal and total. But yeah, these buttons are locked. They're locked until you pull the lever one more time to get a, a blank line and now they're unlocked and you can uh, get the uh, total and it prints that with the asterisk or diamond after it so if you print the total the register internal register is cleared so you can start a new addition you can also subtract to subtract a number, you flip this switch from plus to minus, and it prints it with a minus sign, the number that you're subtracting. And uh, yeah, of course you can then get the uh, subtotal as before. Um, if you add something, or if you subtract something uh, large, that makes the current total negative. That is handled as well. Let me now add something small. The only thing is, I'll do a blank line of course, the only thing is that these uh, buttons are blocked because at the moment the internal register has a negative value and this switch is still switched, uh, set to positive. If you move that to the uh, minus, to the negative uh, subtraction mode, then these are uh, yeah, unlocked and you can print the negative total. That is a bit odd and if you uh, yeah, don't realize that, you might think that the machine is broken because it doesn't unlock these, uh, these buttons. Uh, this button here is the uh, non-add button, so any number you type uh, with this button down, it, it prints it with this hash symbol at the end, but it doesn't add it to the main register. So you can use that for order numbers or customer numbers or even dates. Uh, this button here, this uh, locks down and this is the non-print button. So anything I do now will not be printed. You can see that these printing heads do move up but they're not hammered against the paper and the paper isn't fed through at all. But the addition I just did yeah, has been, yeah, has been done, it has been added to the internal register. Uh, this button here is the repeat button. This is also a button that locks down. And this uh, stops the keyboard, stops the input from being cleared when you pull the lever. So if you add something with this down, that number you've added remains in the input so that you can add it again or several times. So this is a small multiplication. 
I can also then append a zero to uh, add even larger multiples of that number. So I've now multiplied that number by 13, doing it three times in the units place and then once in the tens place. Uh, there we go. Um, so the uh, this last button here is an, quite an interesting one. This is the recall button. It recalls whatever the last number was that was printed or at least the last, last number that was um, output when you pull, pulled the lever. Um, so this can be used to make uh, corrections. Actually, it, if, you do, if you know you've typed something wrong, you can just clear the keyboard. But it quite often happens that you've typed something wrong and you only notice once you've added it and you see it on paper. If this number that I entered is wrong and I want to correct that, what I can do is change it first to the uh, subtraction mode, recall that, that number and subtract it. So it subtracts that number I've just entered and I can now continue uh, and do the correct number instead. The recall button does remain uh, pushed down, so you have to clear that first by clearing the keyboard. So that releases this and can now enter the, the correct number that you wanted to add. Uh, this recall button is also useful if you accidentally uh, printed the uh, Printed the total. Come on. Printed the. Oh, it's negative. Ah. Printed the total. Uh, suppose I actually wanted to do do the subtotal, but because I've printed the total, I've now cleared the main register. Uh, I actually want to continue a calculation using that number that's just been printed that total. So. Or I can, I can just simply recall that number, put it back onto the plus mode, and add it to the register. And uh, yeah, now I can continue using that number and add more stuff onto it. So that is a very useful uh, function that I haven't seen on any other machines, any other adding machines. Procedure was now still using this uh, logo here. This uh, it's a crossbow logo, uh, referring, of course, to uh, William Tell, the Swiss uh, folk hero. Procedure is a, a Swiss brand, and uh, yeah, it tries to uh, evoke the accuracy of uh, yeah of his uh, shots. Uh, the machine is uh, very easy to disassemble. The, um, the printing mechanism has a, a button on this side that you can push down and then, then just uh, lift the whole printing mechanism off. Yeah, this bit also comes off to give you access to the uh, ink ribbon. Uh, the uh, cover also comes off very easily. Oh, actually here you see the uh, model number 102-1 and the serial number 69527. Made in Switzerland, Fabrication Suisse. But uh, on, on the bottom of the machine there are two screw heads, uh, a large one here and another large one at the top. Those are not actually screws, they are latches and you just have to turn it a quarter turn to the left. I'll do this one as well. 
and that unlocks the uh, cover. It uh, it only comes off if you move the, the handle a little bit, and then it just lifts off easily. You can see here these uh, printing heads move upwards and then these hammers hit it, hit them from the back to uh, push through to the uh, paper. You can see that this uh, subtraction mode switch, it tilts this section here to uh, put an extra uh, intermediate gear in between to uh, make these uh, register wheels turn the opposite direction. The uh, non add or the non print button, it just moves this, uh, this hook downwards because this is the one that uh, is pulled to feed the paper through, and it also uh, moves this up to block these hammers from uh, moving. That was the Preciser 102-1. Thank you for watching.